No. Okay, so we're going to do the complimentary for our two, uh, but it's a little bit different. We're doing tones and tints. So also look it up. I'm here sharing my workspace with some of my students. Some, you might know some of these guys. Put more water in it. So yeah, just put some. The water's clean. So so I'm gonna. We're going to focus on this. So I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to go with complementaries, opposites. So we're going to go with green and red. So I'm going to grab some of this red. We're going to do our red station here, as you guys can see. See that? So we have our red station right here. Okay. I made a little mistake. So now what we want to do is probably cover the whole thing in red first. But I should make sure I have my complementary, the green. You guys can see that? Yeah. Crap. The bottles. We lost the bottle. That's okay. We can let them on the floor. So, make your green station. We really want these to be very thick, not watered down. Some people call it soupy. Okay. Okay, so now I am going to make my green section. I'm busy right now, Cole. I'm, I'm making a video, so. Okay, so. So we want to let green be dominant here. Okay. It's going to dry up. That's okay. The color will still be active, especially for tempera. As you guys know, it is egg base. Uh, we just add a little bit of water to it to activate the powder egg. In the olden days, or even high art students or artists who you still paint with tempera, use raw eggs. Although there are some fine artists who do go with the uh, classic, uh, I mean this, um, this version of tempera. So I should have used a flat brush too, but I'm using the skinny one to get in the tight corners. Okay, great. So I'm going to let this little guy dry up for a bit. If you don't have a water station like I do, leave it on the sides. Keep an eye on it so you don't get yourself dirty or your elbow partner here. Now I'm going to add the red. So notice I am coloring even the crust of the color wheel. I'm going to keep the regular color there because even though it's not written in the instructions, we want to do one thing. And let's put the red here at least. Uh, okay, there we go. Bring this guy down like this. Be a little bit, I'm doing this kind of rush. I'm gonna grab more. <gasps> Crap, I just ruined it, so. Nobody has to rag on them, do they? So when that happens, grab a rag real quick. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> That's why your rush makes waste. I know a British proverb, but they're probably right on that. Hopefully, ah, oh, I just ripped it. So this one you're gonna call Mr. Novice. Hey, I need a new one. So, just okay. So now we're still gonna work on this one. Okay, and don't water it down as much as I can. Uh, so let's do our red, finish our red station here. We're not completely done with these guys. So now you see we have red and green. Okay. So now that I have these stations, I'm going to grab my red station here. Down here. See that, guys? Right here. I have my red. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to mix red and green here. And I'm making my complementary. It almost looks, it's basically the tone. So we're going to add this guy right here, and it's going to darken. I might just have to grab more red. So here we go. So right here, I know it says color, but we're going to do the complementary here. There it is. Now I'm not fully done with this guy yet. Okay. Get this in. Get these nice tight corners, make it a little bit neater than mine. 
See that, guys? Okay. Now, I'm going to take some of this red, add more green to it. I'm going to dry it. I'm going to do this is called now the dry technique in brushing. Because you know you're not going to pollute so much. Okay. I should grab some red. Then I'll clean this out. Do the same thing here again. And there's the shadow for my red. That's it. Notice there is my shadow for the red. So now, as you guys can see, we have that. Now what I'm going to do is another thing. Clean out my brush a bit. I'm going to grab more green and put it on top of this guy. It's still going to get a complimentary. Okay. And you guys can talk, don't worry, just not too loud. And there we go, we're done with complimentary. That is, as you can tell. Now let's finish the other ones. I'm believing tint, which guys, you guys already done your work, Shale. I mean, you're, uh, sorry about that. Uh, when we add tint, which color do we add? Do we add black to the color or do we add white? Thank you guys. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the white right now. Uh, I'm gonna add some of the red in there. Okay, so it's going to be turn pink here now for a second, and I'm going to add the white here. Except I'm going to add more red on top. It's called the sandwich method among painters. I'm going to grab more red now, and still going to have a different tone. I don't want it to look too pink, but there we go. See that, guys? Gets that weird creamy look, and reminds me when they open up the shark in Jaws. So. Yeah. Clean my brush. I'm going to get some more white. Mix it in with some green here now. Oops, some red got in there. That's not good. Bring that down here. And I might have to use the sandwich method one more time. Okay. Some people leave it like that. I don't like that. It looks too... So I'm going to add more green on top. And the tone will change one more time. Okay. So let me put more green down here. Take some of this, mix it in with a little bit more white down here. Maybe that'll tone it down. So now, there we go. That'll work. So you guys see this now? Okay. So you see the white into the red, white into the green. And now we're going to add... So guys, when we add black, I mean, what do we call it? Thank you, shade, yes. So I'm going to grab some black right now. Make my little black station here of paint. Mix it on the plate, never on the paint itself. Okay. There's, so I did my little black section right now. I'm going to go with the red. Take some of the red, mix it in there, and then put it down here. Except it's coming out really, really dark. So I'm going to add, I'm not happy with it, Look, it's looking way. And you're learning how to paint, guys, how to blend your colors. Okay. So now I'm going to take some more red. I want to get that vamp vampire black in there. There you go. Okay, do you guys see it now? Okay, you guys see how. Uh, now, don't mix any black in there or white in the center. We don't want to do that. Only the uh, the colors are in the crust. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of that green here now. Put it in there. Put more green down here. Okay, now I'm going to take some of this green, mix it with the black. Actually, put some more. Uh, black in there but I'm gonna put it down here actually blend it much better now in the plate I just leave it like that I think I got it right, so see that guys there we go so I mixed my black and green actually came out much better didn't have to do a sandwich method for the green and that's it that's all you have to do for the for this section so you've done your complimentaries 
you've done your tints, your shades, and you just put the, all the colors from outside in here when you're going across the wheel. And guess what, guys? You just are learn, you just learn how to blend your colors in painting. That's the secret to painting, guys, from going from dark to light. Okay, and that's it. See you guys soon enough in the second period. That's Divania. So, kill the video. There's Kevin. Kevin, did you pick up the frozen head of your backpack? Because the FBI came in again. Okay, bye. Oh.